Good, good morning, everybody. I'm Assemblyman Michael Durso. It's about 10 after 4 in the morning. We're here at the Department of Sanitation at Town of Oyster Bay. This is where I started my career. I was here for about the past 15 years before I became an Assemblyman last year. Uh, we have a couple of our guys retiring today, so we're giving out proclamations. We're going to get Sky on a truck and see what the Sanitation Department does, so come on with us. Somebody with all the skills. He deals with very good people. He deals with good people with problems. He helps them with those issues. And he does an amazing job fighting for us in a real tough work environment. Not that your environment isn't tough, it is. But then going to Albany and dealing with the challenges there, we are incredibly proud of him because he's one of us. Let's hear it. I'm so proud to introduce him as New York State Assemblyman. Um, I, I was was involved somewhat, but never to this degree, obviously. Um, to tell you the truth, I wanted to run for Mass Pico Park Village trustee, uh -huh. um, where I live in the village. Um, my wife ended up running instead of me. Okay. She won her election, and I guess because I was, showed interest, uh, they asked me if I wanted to interview for it, and I did, and they picked me, um, luckily. I always say I'm, I'm not a politician. I'm really not. I'm, I'm a, I, always, I am a sanitation woman. Like, that's my mindset, because that's who I represent. Blue collar people, um, everyday working people that know it's tough to live on Long Island, it's expensive. Um, we have different needs than, you know, different places in the state. So I get to bring their needs and what they need up to Albany and bring it back down. And I hope that I represent them the best that I can. And it's early in the morning. Can I, but you I just, do 10? I can. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, you gotta be strong for you lifting all that garbage all the time. It does. It, it's it's definitely a workout, as you saw. It's a good cardio workout. It's a strength workout. It's uh, it, 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 you gotta be strong to deal with the injuries. Yeah. Because there's a lot of them. Uh, but yeah, this is for safety purposes. All right. Yeah. And these gloves are really good for the rain. Otherwise, okay. you're just gonna get really cold. Okay. <laughs> I want to test them out. All right. Let's go. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Come on. Good morning, guys. Checking in. Last name? Uh, Durso, D U R S O. 475. Thank you, sir. So that's how you know what truck? That's how you know what truck you are. And you walk out to the trucks over here. <laughs> These are all the guys coming in now. So then you come through, walk out, and as you can see, all the trucks are through here. We have over 80 routes and then specialty routes. Quarter after four in the morning. It's cold in the morning. Everybody's tired. Now we're at the end of the week. So uh, everybody wants to uh, get done and get out of here. Setting up you just the pickup. Push all these buttons. Right. All right, we're gonna go take out the garbage. All right, let's go, Sky. Come on. Here we you go. Can do it. This is all recycling, so we're on recycling routes. So these are bottles, cans, cardboard, paper products. Okay, so for people that say forget about recycling, it all goes to the same place. Totally anyway. not true. Totally not true. Things get separate. When you have, let's just say, compost, right? So grass clippings, branches, those get separated, go in a separate truck and go out on a separate truck and or rail to get recycled. I mean, those things are composted. They can be recycled. Mm -hmm. Glass, like I said, here in the town, we had to put in the garbage. Municipal solid waste goes to another section. Recycling, right? So cardboard, paper, those things, definitely do not get mixed in. It's a misnomer that people think they all gets mixed in together. Mm -hmm. It's worth money. So nobody's just throwing money in the garbage. Mm -hmm, right. So to recycle cardboard, to recycle paper, there's there's a lot of money in it. Uh -huh. It just has to be done correctly. Uh -huh. Things do not, for everybody out there, <laughs> it doesn't all go to one place. It gets recycled. It's just how it gets recycled is different. Everywhere. So when you saw it hitting all those buttons inside, yeah. that's what controls this.
All right, so Dan Pearl, you are the mayor of Massapequa, and that's where you're living, assembly member. Correct. Right? I'm I'm from Massapequa Park. Our uh, mayor, Dan Pearl, is our mayor. Uh, my wife happens to be a village trustee, also. Um, so it's it's a good team. It's a good worker relationship we have. Also, being friends is, is great. Um, but it, it it helps us help the residents even more. Um, you know, unfortunately, being a little village, you know, we can write letters and we can reach out to everybody to to try to get things accomplished. Having, having somebody up there that's willing to pick up the phone, especially somebody that we have a relationship with and that lives in the community, knows what our needs are. It's, it's good to pick up the phone and be able to get some results. Um, I wouldn't be in the position I'm in now without all of you and all your help throughout the years. And then especially last year, uh, giving me the confidence to run for the position I'm in now. Uh, I'll never forget where I came from. That's why I'm back here today to honor these guys here, uh, each one of them had a part in my career here, whether it was teaching me a little bit of something on the truck, talking to some of the guys, learning the skills that it takes to work here. Uh, I'll never forget what it takes to work here. I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, but now I get to go up to Albany, it's pretty much the same thing, right? We deal with a lot of garbage, a lot of garbage <laughs> legislation. And just like when you're running down the street, you feel like you just got the biggest load in the world of garbage in front of one house and you feel good. And then you get to the next block and there's another huge load of garbage.